Welcome to the Work, Wealth, and Travel Podcast. I'm your host, Nicole, and this podcast is your guide to start creating a lifestyle by design. From entrepreneurship, money and finance, taxes and residencies, and everything in between, this show highlights the nuances of a true global citizen lifestyle. Let's dive in. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Work, Wealth, and Travel podcast. So today's episode is going to be a little bit different, and it's really going to be sharing more about the values and the why behind Work, Wealth, and Travel. Of course, I started the business for various reasons, but one of them is something that I have never seen talked about in this space ever. I actually see a lot of the opposite of this spoken about, and it's really important for me personally, but also as a business to share the values that I have. And these have been values in the business since day one and definitely lifelong values on a personal level. But I will admit, quite honestly, that I have been very hesitant to share this in the past um, because I know that there are a lot of people a lot of influencers, if you want to call it, or content creators who are in this space who have a completely opposing view. And also, quite honestly, a lot of clients who like this opposing view of what I'm about to say. So is it profitable for business? I don't know. But I truly believe that you are going to work with somebody who you resonate with, not only, of course, on a business level, but on a personal level. And I want to work with, and I want the business to work with clients who we truly resonate with on many different levels. And this is, of course, one of them, a big one. So I shared today on my Instagram stories, and this was the first time I've ever publicly said this, which is just wild. Um, It was actually inspired by a post by the OECD. I was checking out their Instagram for other reasons. And... They had a post on how friendly homosexuality is in different countries around the globe. And of course, topping the charts in this infographic on Instagram from the OECD were Western countries, as I think we would all expect. And it really triggered something in me to finally, for once, speak about this. And so I spoke about it in a few slides on my Instagram. You can head to my why bubble in the story highlights on my Instagram page, which is work, wealth, and travel. If you want to see that, it's just a few slides. Uh, But I'm going to dive into a little bit more detail here, which is nerve wracking, but also something I feel very called to do. And before I get into it, I very much so appreciate everyone who has liked the post so far. I just posted it this morning, so it's only been up for an hour or so, but who's liked the post, who's commented, and who has shown their support. There have been multiple people who have already done that. And I really do appreciate that. And knowing that there are people out there in the offshore world who have these same values as me. And I think increasingly in the world that we're in and moving forward, it's going to be more important. But what are these values that I'm talking about? So in the offshore space, of course, I keep a pulse on what others are doing. I'm not in all their videos and their content and blog posts and all of the things all of the time. I don't think as a business owner, you should be in the weeds on people who are in an adjacent or similar or even the same industry as you. You want to stay innovative and being in the weeds in someone else's business is not going to keep you there. It's not going to make you innovative in your own business. However, what I see from almost, almost every single person in the offshore world is that They will push certain residencies and citizenships. And oftentimes, to be fair, these programs are in more developing nations. And that is just a fact. So yes, we, of course, assist with residencies, citizenship, bank accounts, whatnot in these countries as well. But they push them for another reason as well, being that they are, quote unquote, non-woke societies They are traditional societies. They have traditional values is a big keyword that most people, again, not everybody. I have seen a few who don't, but most people in this space and most of them are a certain demographic of person 
and they're all the same demographic of person, quite honestly, and I am different. Um, and so they share about how the West is heading in a bad, let's just say, direction, which in terms of government and policies and banking, I don't disagree with at all. And that's a big, essentially the main reason why I left my home Western country. But along with that, they take it a step further. We'll talk about how they want to live in Latin America or Southeast Asia or basically in most countries in the world other than a Western country because they like that it's not woke. They like to see no pride flags or no pride parade. They like your gender to be your gender. They like things to be very traditional, let's say. They like to make the money and then they like the woman to not be making money or stay home with the kids and cook dinner. And I'm a huge proponent of every person. It doesn't matter your gender or where you're from. In order to be independent and to get out of any situations that you never know if you will get into, and God forbid, but you never know if you'll get into in your life, you need to have your own money. You need to be your own support system. And so a lot of these people talk and share about living a lifestyle or pushing a lifestyle, whether it is the lifestyle they live or if it's just for financial purposes for the business, I don't know, but really pushing this more traditional lifestyle. And well, first of all, the world and certainly Western countries, but increasingly even more developing countries is going into a different direction. But what I see is that there is such a large market in this space of, again, a certain demographic, a certain age of people, a certain gender of people, and oftentimes not always a certain race of people who have the money, who are willing to pay for these services and agree with this perspective, agree with we should live in a traditional culture, we should be doing things the way that, you know, I think when I think of it, my grandparents were doing this, not even my parents, you know, both of my parents worked but more so my grandparents, which was how many decades ago, where it's just a very traditional society and really pushing this narrative. And so this is what I shared on Instagram about how I created this business, of course, because I have gone through all of these processes myself. Before it was a business, it was me outside of my home country, living in another country, traveling around the globe, not having a home base. And that is where this really stemmed from was having to figure all of this out for myself and it taking years and years. But that's not the only reason why I started the business. I also started the business because when I would go to get information online about some of these options and some of these programs, and I will say not all of the information online, even from the big players, you probably know who I'm talking about is always correct. It's not necessarily always correct or updated, but of course you can't go back and edit videos, especially on a platform like YouTube. But I see them pushing this one single narrative, almost all of them. Most of them who are on longer form content platforms <clears throat> and not just the short form content. Most of them on longer content platforms are pushing this one narrative. And so I wanted to help anyone and everyone and be inclusive of everyone because that is what is important to me as a person. So that is the values that I'm going to bring into the business. That is the values that the team have. That is so important to me. And like I said, this video could get a lot of hate, which is totally fine. You are never going to please everyone in this world and that is okay. But the type of client who resonates with me may look different from a single white male, potentially, potentially, who is looking to live in Latin America. You know, maybe it is someone who's looking to be more diversified or a family or a marginalized person or a group of people, which we have worked with in the past. Absolutely. And so what's important to me as values in the business is to help anybody who wants to get into this offshore space. And this doesn't mean that they have to leave their home country full time. A lot of people are looking for just a pocket plan B. Maybe they want to live in their country still full time, but they want a pocket option in their back pocket. Maybe they want to live in their country part time and live elsewhere part time. There's not one right way or one certain way to do this lifestyle and to become 
a true diversified global citizen, but it is important to me to put the values out there and to help those who I resonate with and in turn who resonate with what I'm saying here and the business and the values and the mission of the company. So I personally think that I said it best on my Instagram story, which I'm just going to read out here. So what I posted was our clients come from all walks of life and that is how I have designed this business. There is no discrimination based on any factors and there are no judgments on your life choices. And this next part is truly what I believe. As long as you're happy with your life and the way that you have designed your life, I am here to cheer you on, to help you, and to help you live your most fulfilling life. If you are happy with the life that you have created for yourself, doesn't matter where you come from, what you look like, what you've gone through in the past. If you are happy and you are at a place where you are ready to, like I said, make a change offshore, go offshore part-time, live abroad somewhere else, maybe just travel the world full-time and not even have a home base for a little bit. We are here to help people like you who are probably out there looking for a different solution. Somebody who's not just pushing that traditional lifestyle, who says outrageous comments about living in woke countries and people who are woke and things that are happening in these countries. It's just some of the things that I see, I just can't believe that people actually say these things in public. But anyways, I digress. So this is what I wanted to hop on the mic quickly today to share a little bit more about the company, the mission, the values, what is important to us as a team at Work, Wealth, and Travel. And not only that, but what is important to me and of course to the team, but I built this business off of myself as a person, as an individual, not as a company, not as a business. This is how I live my life. I live by the principle of lifestyle design, and I hope you do as well. So if you have designed your life for whatever makes you the happiest, makes you the most fulfilled, is how you truly want to live out your life, amazing. That is all that matters to me. That's what I've done in my life. That's how I've gotten here right now, sitting where I am in Mexico on this mic. And we can help you if you are either now or in the future looking to get options. and. A lot of our clients are not looking to leave their home country because of the wokeness. I didn't leave my home country for that reason. They're looking to leave their home country because they don't love the direction the government is going in. They want additional options. There are so many unique ways to leave a home country that does not have to do with living a traditional or non-traditional lifestyle. So like I said, I know I will get some hate on an episode like this, which is fine. You have to stand for something and you will never please everyone on the internet. If you have any questions, you can always comment below if you're watching on YouTube or email us at info at workwealthandtravel.com. If you are interested in learning more about certain countries, certain options, and really diving into this and you're ready to start the process or get the information to start the process, book a paid strategy call. The link is below and we're happy to help you. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next episode of the Work, Wealth, and Travel podcast. You've just listened to the Work, Wealth, and Travel podcast. If anything from this episode resonated with you, I would appreciate if you share this podcast on your socials. And of course, be sure to tag me. And don't forget to leave a review on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for joining me on this global citizen journey, and I'll see you in the next episode.